Hi guys, it's Brie. Happy Reviews Day Tuesday, and I am here uh, to cover Swamplandia by Karen Russell. You may have heard of this book. It was a 2011 Pulitzer finalist. It follows a family named the Big Trees, and they have been living on this uh, on this island in the swamp uh, in Florida for years, and they've kind of built this kind of self-proclaimed dynasty where they are alligator wrestlers. Um, and once their, their mother dies, the children's mother, Halalba, dies, um, they start to fall apart. It comes to light that the father has been just woefully in debt, can't get out of it. Their grandfather starts getting um, Alzheimer's disease and he can't really function anymore. Their son, Kiwi, he runs away to this to work at this uh, competing carnival called uh, The World, which is just, it's a terrible place, <laughs> um, and has been stealing kind of tourists from their, their alligator wrestling show. The oldest daughter starts thinking that she can talk to ghosts and that she can date ghosts. Um, and the main character, Ava, who's the youngest of the children, just is really alone. You know, everyone around her is breaking down. She doesn't want to leave her island, but there's this, this looming sense of, you know, it's all coming to an end. You know, and she's only 13. She doesn't really know what's happening. Can't really understand why the people who she thought were very, like, firm and reliable are falling apart. Ava and Aussie, who's the oldest daughter, are left alone on their island. Um, you know, this is a 13 and a 16 year old. And they both just kind of start falling apart. Um, Aussie starts going out into the swamp in the middle of the night and spending nights there. And, you know, she keeps being just convinced that she's dating these ghosts. Um, and eventually she um, becomes consumed by that. It's obsessive, but it's it's very scary for Ava, I think, understandably. Um, and so it follows Ava, who is kind of trying to track her sister down in the swamp. Um, and it also follows Kiwi, who is the oldest son, and he has run away to the mainland. And... He's trying to survive and feels this great responsibility for making money so that their family doesn't get foreclosed on. Um, there's a real sense of loneliness about this book, and I think it's not just the char because the characters are lonely, but because in a lot of ways it's a very real loneliness. Um, this kind of stuff, this like foreclosure and breaking apart of families is a very real and I think prescient thing to talk about. Prescient? Prescient? It, it's just, it's a very real and appropriate thing to be talking about, I think. Especially right now. And especially, you know, watching a bunch of teenagers and especially Ava because even though she's 13, her character feels a lot younger. Um, and part of that is understandable. She's been kept really fairly, her, she and her siblings have been kept fairly isolated on this island. You know, they don't talk to what they call mainlanders. And so she's very naive and very open to being hurt, like, really through no fault of her own. Um, it's definitely not the kind of book with a happy ending. If if you're looking for, you know, happy bubblegum endings, that's not what you're going to get here. Um, but it's a very poignant kind of conversation that Russell has. And her descriptions of the swamp are fantastic. Um, that and the alligators, they, they call them Seths. <laughs> All the alligators on their... Uh, in their show are Seth. Um, but the relationship 
that she builds between the big tree family and the swamp and the gators is beautifully, beautifully rendered. Um, overall, I gave this book a 3.5. The connections between events were made clear later on, um, but that wasn't always made clear as you were reading. And I would have really loved to see more of Osceola, um, the oldest daughter, because I felt like by not describing her narrative in particular, uh, Russell was missing kind of this really great opportunity to, you know, to show someone who had been responsible for her siblings and who was kind of devolving into and who's kind of devolving into what might be very well be mental illness. Um, and I think that could have been a very intriguing storyline. And I felt by not putting that in, it was, it was lacking and it was obviously lacking throughout the narrative. You know, it wasn't one of those things like, I wish she had done this. It was, I don't understand why she didn't. Um, but overall it, it was very good. Um, Russell wrote another book, St. Lucy's Home for Girls Raised by Wolves. That I think I might pick up later, um, if not next month, then maybe the month after, uh, just to to get a better grip on her her writing because I like what I've seen. Um, so anyway, happy reviews day Tuesday. I will see you all later. Um, I will see you all on Friday for my wrap up. Bye.